Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Reading Isaiah 55, verse 6 through 12. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. <laughs> Neither are your ways my ways saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. <laughs> Listen, it's very difficult. It's Pat's two cents now. You know I got to put in my two cents. It's oftentimes very difficult to trace God's hand through our lives. It's many times difficult to be mindful of the fact that God really loves us and really has our best interest at heart. And it's impossible for us to figure him out. Because as he says, his ways are above our ways and his thoughts above our thoughts. They're not even the way we think. You know, we think like a wicked man. That's why he said, it's forsake that, forget that crap. Come to me. I've got your answers. I've got your solutions. And I know how and how long to work it out. Be encouraged, you guys. I know it's hard sometimes. I know sometimes it seems like we spend more time crying than believing. Sometimes we spend more time getting ready to give up than we do praying for strength to press, to press in. But don't be weary in well-doing. Oh, I'm feeling this. For in due season you shall reap if you faint not. When he says his word will accomplish that thing whereto he has sent it, whatever he sent his word to do, baby, you can take it to the bank. It's going to be. It's going to happen. It's just hard for us because we don't have his x-ray vision. We don't have his beginning from the last knowledge. We don't have the wherewithal to put his puzzle together. He's got all the little players in their places. He's got the stage set. He's got the clock and the timer going. And we're like, oh God. I know how that feels. I don't know how you feel because I'm not in your situation and I'm not you. But I know how frustration feels. But guess what? God knows even more so. God understands. And all I can say as a sister in Christ, as a minister of the gospel, as a nitwit who's just saved, not perfect, do your best to sit down, cry through it. 
suffer with it. Now, I'm not talking abuse. I'm talking crisis. When crisis happens in our lives, it's dark. It's difficult. But God is able. I am here to reassure you God is able. This is not a lost cause. Fight for the hope. Fight, keep fighting and contending for your faith. Fight that good fight of faith, babe, because it's worth it at the end. God will bless. His word will accomplish. And it'll seem like all of nature is celebrating with you when God brings about the change. And he will bring it about. He will bring about your change. Your redemption not only draweth nigh, your redemption is guaranteed. But you are the only loose cannon in the situation. You have to hang this thing. You have to stick this thing out God's way. As much as it hurts, as frustrating as it is, and as doubtful as you will be at times, your faith will get you to that finish line. Your faith will get you to your reward. I'm not talking reward in heaven. That'll come in its time. We're dealing with stuff here in the land of the living. And God deals with that stuff big time. More so than many of us believe. He is pulling for you. He is working things out. Don't be weary. Don't be dismayed. God's going to wipe all your tears away. He knows all your suffering. He knows all your pain. He knows your every weakness. He knows about the strain. He's bringing you out. I don't know what you've been going through. I don't know what it's all about, but he's bringing you out. I don't have a doubt. Keep patiently waiting, for I know he'll bring you out.